Today I'm going to be talking about the top 3 mistakes you should stop making if you're running lead generation Google Ads. And let's start right away. The first one is listening to Google Reps. Now Google Reps are agents of Google and they provide support for their products. In this case it's Google Ads. And what they're going to do is contact you and try to give you suggestions about what changes you should make in your Google Ads account. So what you would think after hearing the definition is that they're here just to help you make more money out of Google, right? Well, by the official definition, yes. But what these people really are, are just sales contractors for Google. Their job is to reach out to advertisers and make those advertisers get more clicks so Google can earn more money. And while that may sound good, the suggestion they give out is not always the best. For example, if you just search up Google reps experiences, you can just see walls and walls of people complaining about and giving terrible advice. So definitely stay away from Google Reps and save yourself both the time and the money. After they send you an email, just ignore it and don't even bother hoping on a call. Now the second mistake you should stop making is sending people directly to your website instead of a dedicated landing page. Now let's make a scenario in which for argument's sake you're paying $1 per click and you get 100 clicks. That means you spent $100. Now the average conversion rate to a website is 3%, which means out of 100 people that land on your website, Three of those people are generally going to become a lead, which means for $100 that you spent, you get three leads, which is $33 per lead. Now, in another scenario, you made a landing page whose sole purpose is to convert that visitor into a lead. Now, these landing pages have a conversion rate of around 10 to 50 percent, but uh, let's keep it conservative and let's say conversion rate of your landing page is 15 percent, which means out of $100 you spent, you got 100 clicks, and now you have 15 leads, which comes out to seven dollars per lead now on one side you're paying 33 dollars per lead by sending people directly to your website and on the other side you're paying seven dollars per lead and the only difference you made is making a dedicated landing page now not only are you paying less per lead but you're getting more leads for the same money which in the end means you're going to make more money out of those leads now is making a dedicated landing page always the best option well no, but in 99% of cases it's better to send people to a dedicated landing page than to a homepage on your website. Okay, now you know that you should make a dedicated landing page, but the next mistake you shouldn't be making is not using as scheduling. Now, one of the most important things when it comes to lead generation is how fast you can respond to that lead. If it's a phone call, it's did you pick your phone up? If it's a form lead, it's how fast you can contact the lead. So that's why you should always set your Google Ads to run only during your working hours. Because if you run ads 24 seven and you don't work 24 seven and you can't get back to the leads 24 seven, you'll just end up wasting money for leads you're paying for. And while yes, you can call your leads back the next day when you get to work, most of the people you're gonna be calling are just gonna forget that they even contacted you. So definitely schedule your ads to run only during your working hours. If you want me to do lead gen campaigns for you, Click on the first link down below in the description and schedule a quick 15 minute discovery call to see if we're a great fit. I'll set up and manage your landing page, Google ads, and set up your call tracking. So again, first link down below in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.